Hey guys, this is Snack Attack 8. Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. This is part 8. And, uh, after I got that little, what seems to have become a ritual out of the way, me saying part 8, uh, with the emphasis on the part, um, which if you haven't watched any of my previous part 8s, you would probably be like, what is he talking about? But yeah, now that that's out of the way, uh, here we are back in Talon Overworld. Um, with our newly acquired space jump boots and boost ball. And uh, we're going to do some interesting stuff in this episode. Uh, actually, that's kind of loud. Let me turn down my headset volume so that uh, it doesn't like get caught in like feedback or just annoys me and I can't hear myself talk. Because, I mean, in Let's Play, it's hard to really hear yourself think. It's hard to really think at all in Let's Play, because you're kind of just like, Oh my god, so many things, just gotta say them all. But, uh, I like to hear myself talk, and when the music is, like, obstructing it, maybe I'll be talking too quietly, and I'll have to boost the volume, and- Oh, oh wait, look, here comes the awesome part of the music. Love it, okay. <laughs> anyway, um, this is an area that we went to early in the game, and I couldn't get very far in because of the uh, missile door that I didn't have missiles to break down. But uh, we're going to scan these lores. There's actually two here, so get ready for some reading. As we have done for millennia, we chose it. We're constantly on our statuary. The statues are our sentinels. Blind, but ever watchful they are. And have always been repositories for our most precious secrets and strongest powers. The craft wing... Crafting. The craft wing? The crafting of each is a long and sacred process. Performed only by those Chozo who have lifetimes of experience in such things. We have left these relics on planets across the solar system. Some are merely reminders, silent emblems of the Chozo that serve as icons of peace in lands that we know... That... In, of peace in lands that know only war. Others wield subtle strength, exerting their influence in ways beyond the understandings of mortal creatures. Still others are guardians of our secret ways. And these can be as terrible as they are beautiful. Those who respect and honor these relics will know the friendship of the Chozo. Those who deface or destroy them will know our wrath, unfettered and raw. And yeah, those Chozo statues really have helped Samus out over the years. Um... Because if you didn't remember, they are what gives you all your power-ups in Metroid, and Super Metroid as well, and Metroid 2. Uh, but yeah, a new Chozo lore entry again. The congregation of artifacts that hold the great poison at bay still hold strong, fearful of the potential within the artifact temple. The invaders known as space pirates try to destroy it, only to fail in every attempt. The we scattered the artifacts across the planet for their protection, and only a few have fallen into invader hands. Falling to un failing to understand them, they now seek to unmake them. Again, they fail. They are right to fear these things. Great power sleeps inside them. Prophecy calls for their union. Come the day that the unholy worm is met by the great defender. We can only hope the artifacts are not destroyed by the invader, for then all will be lost. So, we do what we can to preserve the artifacts and to guide the newborn to them. Time wanes with our souls, yet hope remains. So there's more talk of Samus. They want her to find the artifacts and sort of destroy. There's a nice music change. You only hear this music in this area. Um, but they want Samus to destroy this evil, vile worm that's infested the planet. And this actually is the area with the artifacts that they're talking about. This is the seal um, put on the creature that the Chozo worked so hard to detain. And this right here is actually an artifact. Uh, so, sort of really what the main purpose of Metroid Prime is right here, right now, <laughs> it's kind of a weird way to say that, is to get these 12 artifacts. Um, so we can get in here and destroy the evil in this planet. As well as, you know, get the space pirates gone too. This is another goal. There's the Chozo artifact acquired. This is the Artifact of Truth, the first of twelve. Collect it and then scan the totems here for clues on the locations of the remaining artifacts. Together, the artifacts will open a path to the center of the impact crater. Which is where the evil beastie lies. And, uh, yeah. So, now that we got that, Samus makes that amazing, awesome-looking, like, defiant-looking pose right there. I don't know, just something about the way she stands there just looks so badass. 
Uh, but anyway, so we got these things here that if you scan them, uh, they'll be like, they'll basically give you clues to where the artifacts are. Now, I'm not going to read all of them because that, that yellow one here was for the one we already got. I'm not going to read all of them because it will take a long time. Um, but, and I know where the artifacts are, uh, but I will scan them because they're kind of important. Um, they all count as data and uh, can only be scanned before you get the artifact that goes with them. So if you're going for 100% scan data in this game, scan all those. I think you can do it before you even get the artifact of truth. So you can get that other one too. Um, but yeah, be wary of that. If you're doing that, but I'm not. So we're just going to leave. But yes, um, I would sort of consider the artifacts to be an overarching goal of this game not one that we're gonna set out to do right away um, there is one more artifact we can get right now and I'm going to be getting it in, in this video but the the other ten are more much more hidden and re will require most of them I think will require powers we don't have yet so uh, yeah and I, I think the game actually wants you to go to the impact crater and do all that a little bit later on. But I mean, we're able to do it now. We've been able to do it since we got the missile. So I don't really see why. This isn't the right way, is it? Yeah, it is. There's the root cave. Okay. <laughs> Wait, is it? It? Yes. Okay, there's two ways to get here. Um, but yeah, I don't really see why um, you wouldn't start it now. Because I don't think those artifacts will appear until you've scanned that. Who knows? I always scan it before I get the next one anyway, so I couldn't really tell you. And okay, so we're, we want to go th up the other way. I always get a little turned around in this room. Just because, I don't know. Just because I do. Got a problem with it? No? Okay. Oh, wait, here's where it was, right? The half pipe will lead to the up there? No? How did I get up? How, is there a way to get back there? I think there is. Yeah, let's try climbing again. <laughs> Sorry about this. Uh, yeah, that's it, right up there, isn't it? In the waterfall, so all we have to do is walk up there, right? Oh, here comes that awesome part of the music again. No, that's not it. Oh, yes it is. Okay, okay, yeah, because there was a missile door there. <laughs> Jeez. For a second there, I was thinking, like, why couldn't I have just gone to Magmore Caverns then instead of going to Chozo Ruins? But no, because you need the missiles. Um, I actually was going to go back to Chozo Ruins in this episode because there's, if you remember, there were two actually, um, two half pipes in Chozo Ruins that I didn't go up because we didn't have the boost ball at those times. And both of those will yield power ups, but, um, there's another item that I think we're going to be getting in this video that I want to get before we go to Chozo Ruins, just to make everything a little bit neater. Because there's stuff we can get, do there with it. Um, and yeah, so that's the really the reason why. Yeah, go down the elevator again. Yeah. Woo! I guess I could sing you a song, I don't know. Um... How about loving an elevator? Do -do 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 -do. Words. Don't know the words to that song, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a uh, Aerosmith song, I'm pretty sure. Which is kind of a cool band. Uh, I don't know. I, they're alright. I, I feel like. It, and I, I think I'm weird in this aspect, as in a lot of people don't feel this way and call me stupid for thinking it. But I feel like. After the 60s, oh my god, get out of here, Magmore. I feel like after the 60s, a lot of bands kind of like lose soul. Like, I mean, I guess kind of like Aerosmith, but it all sort of becomes bigger after that. And like, it doesn't get better, it just is more like people screaming their heads off for no reason. It's like, I don't know. And I mean, that's I've heard, that's been said by a bunch of people, like rock and roll is dead after the 60s happened. But I don't know. But I just feel like a lot of, like, the famous, even, like, the really famous rock bands from, like, the 70s and 80s, like, they're just, it all just seems kind of phony to me. And, I mean, there's some good ones. I guess, like, Pink Floyd, which I talked about in the last episode. 
and oh why am I oh I guess this is the right way to go back over there yeah but yeah I've been listening to a lot of that lately um because it all really started when I was talking to my girlfriend and um me and my stupid like naysayer negativist attitude I was all like we were talking about Dark Side of the Moon and I was like I don't really think Dark Side of the Moon is that great of an album it's not my favorite album and she was like, are you crazy? Because she, my girlfriend was also raised with a dad who was a musician and who loves classic rock and that type of stuff. And so she loves all those uh, old, awesome rock bands. And so uh, she was like, are you crazy? Dark Side of the Moon is awesome. And I was like, I don't like it that much because, you know, that's just the negative way that I have to be. And so she was like, you're dumb. That's wrong. You have to like it. It's an awesome album. And I was like, okay, maybe I'll give it another shot. And, uh, where are we going? I'm pretty sure there's an artifact in the monitor station. I was like, I'll give it another shot, and I did. And sure enough, that album is awesome. And I don't know why, because I had heard the whole thing before talking to her. And I just, first, maybe it's because I wasn't raised listening to that album, or much of Pink Floyd, really, unless it was, like, coming on the radio and my dad turned it on. And... So, maybe after hearing so much about it, because, like, that is a really, really talked about album. Um, maybe after hearing so much about it, when I finally did listen to it, I wanted it to be some way that I guess it wasn't, and I wasn't really accepting it for just itself as a piece of music, which is really what you should accept all art as. Don't go into art, and this applies to games too, don't go into that stuff thinking it'll be a certain way, because it's never going to be that way unless it is, and then even when it is, it's kind of a letdown, because you're like, oh, I knew it was going to be like this. But that's my advice. Always go in with your own opinions, or always go in with no outside opinions influencing you, because you'll always just want to expect it to be some way, and if it's not, that can diminish the value of it, even if there's nothing wrong with it at all, like Dark Side of the Moon, which is awesome. And I guess I've realized now that's awesome. Um, this little thing, if you go in here and boost, it will sort of move the, uh, these, it, it, they, there's a lot of these in the game. They're sort of like little triggers, and uh, that one will move this bridge out. Which, since now that we've got our double jump too, we can jump to this little ledge over here and jump up this ledge. Yeah. But yeah, I've been listening to some Pink Floyd. Um, the Wall, actually, is the one I've been listening to the most. I'd say that's probably my favorite album, which I think is, like, what the Pink Floyd fan will be, like... They'll say, like, that's the commoner's favorite album, almost. Just because a lot of the songs on it are so famous and so played on the radio. We'll just grab this. This is the artifact number two. Uh, it is the artifact of strength, second of twelve. Nice. And see, all those little uh, pieces are parts of the artifact in general uh, and I think there's a expansion or something in here too that we can get aha is that uh, Bendesium no Bendesium is actually like the strongest metal in this game we can't break it now we will need something a lot more powerful to destroy Bendesium uh, but yeah but at least I remember that it was kinda there oh uh, yeah um, what was I talking about Pink Floyd <laughs> Yeah, but I've listened to The Wall mostly, because um, I'd say that's my favorite one. Because the concept of that is just awesome. It's like a rock opera, if you don't know. And if you don't know, I'm sorry that I'm talking about this stuff, and if it's, like, alienating you. Um, but uh, I don't really have anything to talk about. We're just kind of going back through the stuff we've already seen. Um, oh, jeez, 13 minutes already? Uh, yeah, sure, we're, we're just going to go for it. <laughs> Because I don't think the next part of this game will take too much longer. There's an area that I really want to get to. Actually, you know what? Maybe, um... Maybe I will end the video right here. And this will just be like the weird episode where I got some artifacts and that was all. Yeah, maybe that's it. So, we're just going to go to the safe station then. But, uh, yeah... But yeah, The Wall, um, which is awesome. And if you don't know what I'm talking about at all, you should go listen to it, because it's really cool. Um, and I feel like, I feel like, I've been feeling like a middle school kid, or like a 13-year-old all week, because like, isn't like 13 when you're supposed to get into Pink Floyd, and I'm just now like, oh, Dark Side of the Moon's awesome, when like, you're supposed to listen, you should listen to that stuff when you're young, 
and not old like me. But yeah, so we're just gonna save. <laughs> and uh, in the next video, we'll do what the what the game has actually been wanting us to do the whole time, and that's go to the uh, Chapel of the Elders. Yeah, but yeah. So until then, guys, I'm in Snack Attack Eight, and uh, I will see you in the next video when in which we will go to the Chapel of the Elders, get a new item, and fight a boss. Uh, so, so exciting times in that video. Uh, so yeah, till next time, guys. Miss Nike Deck Eight, and I'll see you then later.